All right, gonna walk down the driveway. We still have our baby tree there. Lots of ivy, big trees all around. And there's the house. We still have our green, or chicken coop. And we've got the garage almost all empty. Summerside is empty. Colleen still has some stuff. We've got our big tree. Still looking good. We actually planted some more stuff over here. Um, Chinese maple, all these little guys. So, we've got our empty mudroom. We got a fresh coat of paint. It's looking really pretty. Let's go look in Summer's room for a second. Oh, all empty. Can you check this place out? Oh, so nice. The yard, abandoned garden out there. Sadly, nobody can take that with them. Um, and then back to the mudroom. We've got an empty living room. Woo -hoo -hoo! So empty. The lantern's still here. This is still going to be sold with the house, probably. Empty kitchen, some things for decoration, for selling. It's almost all empty. And then the empty library. Right Ooh, empty all the way. You can check out all the books I did here. Look how pretty those look. Awesome. Some things just still here for decoration. Most of the things are still around. This room has the kitty stuff in it. Colleen's kitties. Hey. Meow. We still have things, but mostly it's empty. We still have the mural on the wall. You just want to see that. Ah, uh, little squirrel, three sisters, heron. So pretty. I love this mural. Almost all gone. Hey, Katie. And then, bathroom. Empty. Except for some things for the bathroom while Colleen and her girlfriend are still here. It's all things. Hi. <laughs> yeah, upstairs in the bedroom we have painted almost everything except for portions of the green walls. Um, still Colleen and says stuff here, but it's mostly empty. They've already moved out a lot of their stuff. Oh, that's where they put their stuff. <laughs> but mostly presentable at least. They had the photographers here today. And let's make this video a little shorter. Up the stairs to mom's room. Empty. Oh. Oh. My stairway light. <laughs> Sally's closet still full of boxes and gift wrapping supplies. <laughs> the bathroom looks really nice here. They've done just a clean up, but it looks so nice having nothing on it. Kitty still live here. Empty bookshelves. A really nice bed right now. Oh yeah. And mom's vanity still here as well as this little bed thing. Empty closet of Sally's depths. Oh my gosh, you can see both corners of the closet. Wow. Oh, so nice. So amazing to see it empty. There's mom. She's out watering the plants. We'll ask the chef to make the yard look good. But I think it'll do. One last place we gotta get down to the basement. All the way down. Ah. To the basement. Which was my project. That's what I was working on for all my life, it feels like. Oh my gosh. Still has some things in here, but uh, this is all Colleen stuff, I guess. She still has quite a bit. Um, but look how much empty space. Has that little furnace and the space for things. We might just be leaving, I think, some of these shelves here and maybe Craigslist them if people want to come and get them, but they don't really have a home. Um, futon, also no home. But the study is empty. The dark room, oh, you can't see that at all. Dark room, empty. This place was a shit show when I 
was helping Summer move out. Super scary. And yeah, this is pretty much end of the basement times. We don't have to worry about the crazy basement clean out. It's really happy for me. <laughs> um, I'll turn off the lights. Oops, how long have I lived here? <laughs> yeah, just everything being white and empty is slightly strange. You know, I think you guys might want to see outside. So since I still have a little bit of time. Hi, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got to look really, they look really nice there. Woo, around the house, the backyard. Look, Amy, your welcome sign from your wedding is still here. Looking in Summer's room. Garden. Oh gosh, I want to eat all these things. They're still here. But do you notice that giant hole? That's where the greenhouse used to be. No more greenhouse. Hole gone greenhouse. Woo, feels empty back here. <gasps> Chickens. Hi, chicky doos. Yeah, you're going to go live at Brett and Mern's farm. But it's really nice and actually cleared out here too. Like, no extra furniture stuffed in the corners. This is Summer's giant mess, which I'm really disappointed. She said she wanted to keep her pallets, but now she's got a shit ton of them and has not moved them. And God damn it, Lydia has a problem with hoarding. Oh, oh, did you guys see the new deck? It's so nice. It has the old benches on it, but new deck that's not gonna fall through. Oh. Yep, this is our house. Tallest rooted engines ever with the trees around. Um, they finally got the hot tub out of here that was just sitting in a pile here for a long time. Um, because so they're still gonna have a bonfire in the back fire pit and the lookout on the ravine. Oh, okay, yeah, we've extended our land, I think, in the time of living here about 20 feet. Feels good. This is how you claim a land. There's that tree house that me and Colleen maybe built one branch on it. <laughs> one framing piece. Nothing else. Oh. We have some hammock time here. And it's really cute still. Oh, I like that they cut back this thing. You can actually see those rocks again. Oh, butterfly bush that's overgrown around the back. Hey, old weird cobweb walkway. Oh, inside. Over to the front yard. We've got our same narrow pathway. All the dogs are gone. They've all moved to Summer's house, just Nevada and Easton. But it still feels like a dog yard. There's the little fire pit that I built out here. Just a tiny little guy, but cute. Um, the bamboo in the back, some trees that always have prickly bushes around them. In the back of the carport. Oh, it does look so pretty right now. What a nice place. Our balconies are still have those emergency fire escape pieces on them, though I wonder if in an emergency they would fall. <laughs> and here's mom again, doing her thing. This is her level of housekeeping. I love it. <laughs> Don't you? All right. Well, adventures with hoses happened and lots of beautiful times. <laughs> ah, so good. Same bird feeder for the squirrels. Squirrel feeder! Ah, uh, it looks so good though. I really, I think it's gonna sell soon. It's just got that post up on the end of the driveway marking its place. Maybe, I still have about 30 seconds. I could run up there and show you guys the whole walkway one more time. <laughs> All right, I'll go on that walk. Mm -hmm. Just a walk for the sake of it. Really, the Crosbys are still going to be here. I wonder if they'll ever let us come back and camp in their yard. They already let us put in an extra parking spot next to them. <laughs> Yay, thanks, nice neighbors. They've been the best. I really like them. They've helped us with so many projects. 
Mm, the Browns are still there. I have no idea if it's in Rashid Wallace's old house. But... Yeah, we got some tall cypress trees you can't even see in their yard at all anymore. It's the sunny south. Looks really different. There it is, see? We don't have our sign yet saying it's sold, but we've got a white post. Imminent doom. It's about to happen. Oh, but just before it's done, we've got 12417. Good hep. It's a really cute little sign still. Oh, so nice. I'm sure we could all stop by at some point in our futures and see just this little road, but right now it's in crocus season, which I think is a special time. And <laughs> Happens every year. They're so pretty. Hi, little crocus guys. You wish there was more water? Yeah, me too. Woohoo! Lilac bushes, as tall as can be. Wow. Yeah. This is our place. Empty newspaper stand post. <laughs> Nobody that lives in there anymore. Sweet little North Gate. Aww, and there's our sign again. Almost selling point. Hope you guys enjoyed your tour. Love you guys so much. You guys are my friends and my family. I'm gonna miss this place too. Hope you guys are having a great time.